Assalamu alaikum. It was truly difficult to specify exactly which findings I should highlight in this video, but what follows is truly amazing. Brace yourself for the amazing new mathematical discoveries and the greatest chapter in the Quran. <laughs> Chapter 1 in the Qur'an contains 7 verses, 29 words, and a total of 143 letters. The total letters used to make up this chapter are 21, i.e. out of the 27 letters of the Hijai Arabic alphabet, only 21 are used, but the total uses is 143. It is considered to be the greatest chapter in the Qur'an. It is the chapter which every Muslim has memorized and recites every day at least 17 times during the five mandatory prayers, i.e. once in each rak'ah of the five daily prayers, or salat. About this chapter, Allah said in the Qur'an, We have indeed bestowed upon you the seven oft-repeated verses, i.e. chapter 1 al-Fatiha, and the great Qur'an. The first verse alone is comprised of 19 letters, and 19 is the greatest Qur'an mathematical key, but that is a topic way too large for this video. The surprising thing is that the researchers have found the following. The shortest verse has only two words, and it is verse number three. The middle verse has three words, and before it are three verses, and after it are also three verses. This balance makes us use the three words of the middle verse, each at a time, and analyze them with their counterparts from the other verses. To that end, we end up with three groups of verses. When we take the first word from each verse and the whole chapter, we end up with a total of 31 letters. This alone may not mean anything, but the surprise is that when we do the same with the second words, we again get a total of 31. So since three has been clearly highlighted, we check to see if this will apply to a total of three groups and indeed, when we repeat this a third time with every third word in the verses, we again end up with 31, even though the third verse does not even have a third word. This is amazing. In previous videos, we had mentioned the ring composition of the Qur'an, and here too it is mathematically highlighted. The middle verse is three words with three verses before it and three verses after it. Furthermore. The three groups of words, which are the very first word, second word, and every third word, each having exactly 31 letters, their interconnectedness does not stop here. When we take all the words in these three groups and count the letter dots, we shockingly get exactly 31 dots. We already said that the number three had been highlighted so clearly. Then we notice that this entire chapter mentions three different names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in total these three names repeated six times in three verses i.e. each one repeated twice. Looking closer we are even more shocked to realize that the total letters in this group of the names of Allah is exactly 31 letters. Subhanallah this is truly amazing. All of this makes us look at the 31st verse from the start of the Qur'an, which is verse 24 in chapter 2. And this 31st verse from the start of the Qur'an has letter dots, the total of which is exactly 31 dots. And remember, the dotting of the letters came later on to help non-Arabs distinguish the letters. If we stopped here, this would be more than enough to think about, but there's so much more. Upon further analysis, the researchers also noticed that every single verse in this chapter ended with either one of two letters, either the N, the letter Nun in Arabic, or M, the letter Mim in Arabic. The letter M is the 24th letter in the common Hijai alphabetic order, and the letter N is the letter 25. The total sum for this is 49, which equals 7 times 7. And 7 is the number of verses in this chapter. 7 is also one of the main keys in the mathematics of the Qur'an. Looking even closer, we find that the total number of words that ended 
with the letter M or N are exactly 14 words, which is 7 plus 7, or even 7 times 2, since they are two letters. Going even deeper, we notice that the total number of words that ended with the letter M are exactly 7 words, and the number of words which ended with the letter N are obviously also exactly 7 words. This is truly miraculous, and think about it. But for now, we should remember that this chapter was referred to by Allah as the seven oft-repeated verses. So let's go to that verse. And shockingly, it contains seven words. The even more shocking thing is that the middle word in this verse in the Qur'an, which mentions chapter one and calls it the seven oft-repeated verses, is comprised of only two letters and they are M and N. Even more stunning is that the letter M repeated in this verse three times and the verses in chapter one that ended with the letter M are also three. This is already beyond human comprehension. But we move on and see that the letter N repeated in this verse four times and chapter one, which this verse is talking about, the verses in it that ended with the letter N are also four. This is mind-boggling, and to top it all off, you can obviously make out that the total repetitions for both letters M and N in this verse again gives us 7. And do not forget to also notice that just like chapter 1 had a ring composition based on the number 3, this verse about chapter 1 also has a ring composition based on the number 3, with 3 words before and 3 words after its middle word, which is a two-letter word made out of the N and M, and we've already discussed how the harmony of the code between these two letters fits between chapter one and this verse, which is about chapter one. Okay, before moving on, we simply must step back, take a breath, and let this sink in. The Prophet Muhammad was illiterate and could neither read nor write, yet in the Quran, the mathematical connection between the verse that refers to this chapter and the chapter itself are shockingly harmonious. Chapter 1 has 7 verses and this verse has 7 words. Chapter 1 has 3 verses ending with the letter M and this verse about it has 3 M's. The chapter has 4 verses ending with N and this verse about it has 4 N's. And both this verse and the chapter revolved dramatically and concretely around the number 7. But that's not all, so let's keep going. This verse has a total of 21 letter dots, which is 7 times 3. We have already seen how 3 and 7 are repeatedly highlighted in the chapter, which this verse is referring to. And to top this all off, and shockingly, 21 is also the total number of letters from the alphabet that make up chapter 1. Can words really describe this amazingly perfect mathematical code? Brace yourself for yet another stunning discovery. As we said, Allah in the Quran called chapter 1, titled Al-Fatiha, the oft-repeated 7. In Arabic, Sab'an min al-Mathani. The letters that make up this phrase in Arabic repeated in the chapter they are referring to which we said is chapter 1, the following number of times, for each letter as shown in this chart. So the total repetitions for the letters of this phrase, سَبْعًا مِنَ الْمَثَانِ, in the chapter they are referring to, is 179. But what is 179? 179 is the exact number you get when you add the number of verses plus the number of words and the number of letters in chapter 1. This is truly and shockingly miraculous. But it simply just does not end. Looking even closer, we notice that among the three words in Arabic that make up the phrase the oft-repeated seven, i.e. سَبْعًا مِنَ الْمَثَانِ, the key word is المثاني, i.e. the oft-repeated, and it is a seven-letter word. So does this mean we should look even closer? We do, and when we make the same chart 
with just the word al-mathani we get this and shockingly the total is 114 which is the number of chapters in the quran and a main numerical quran mathematical key this also highlights that while chapter one is especially oft repeated the entire quran is also oft repeated in fact no book on earth comes close to how often the Qur'an is repeatedly read. One of the reasons that chapter 1 is considered the greatest chapter is its interconnectedness with the rest of the Qur'an and the fact that the vast majority of the Qur'an revolves around what these seven verses are about. But that's a topic for another video. Moving on, the first verse in this chapter is also the first verse in the Quran and it starts with the letter B. The total number of verses in the entire Quran which start with the letter B are exactly 63 and 63 is the age of the Prophet Muhammad We can also go further but for the sake of this video we must remain brief. We have mentioned the connection of chapter 1 with the rest of the Quran and here is just one example out of many regarding this remarkable mathematical discovery. We have seen that the number 7 was dominantly highlighted in chapter 1. And when we look at the name of chapter 7 in the Quran, it is Al-A'raf. Surprisingly, the letters that make up the name of chapter 7 appear in chapter 1 114 times, which is the total number of chapters in the Quran and a main key in Quran mathematics. Furthermore, chapter 1 titled Al-Fatiha and chapter 7 Al-A'raf are both seven letter words. The mathematical harmony is truly endless. Do review what we have covered and go back to seriously think about these incredible and miraculous findings. This is simply stunning and undeniable. In order to avoid making this video too long, I have skipped a lot to try to remain brief. And for more about this topic, please look forward to my book, which I should release sometime this year, inshallah. And as always, if you like this video, and it truly helps a lot, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and until next time, assalamu alaikum.